Hi, Sunshine. Becky McConnell here. thought it was time that I sort of shared somewhat of who I was. So, once upon a time ago, I had a dog, and the game wardens came, or whomever, bailiffs, they came and took her in behind the barn and shot her. So that year, I just sort of uh, put my name on the exams and let it go, and that was the end of it. Of course, I failed grade four. The principal called me in and said, but, well, because you didn't uh, do your work, uh, you'll never be a nurse. They won't allow it, not when you failed a grade. So I said, okay, well, that's fine. It is what it is. And I carried on with my life and uh, quit school again when I was in grade nine because, uh, you know, I failed a grade one, so what did it matter? And I went back again upon the urging of my now husband, so I went back and got my grade 12 and 13, at which point um, I was going to go into the what was called the RNA course, and now RPN here. And my gym teacher, who was also my mentor, said, don't do it. you got to go for the RN. So I said, okay, I will. And, you know, it by this time, because I failed two grades, I was now considered a mature student, thank God. So I went forward and I got my RN and I worked for 25 years in the hospital. I loved working with the people, I loved my job and I hate it. Hate it with a passion, the institution. For me it felt like when I walked through the doors and they, they shut behind me that I'd been locked up in prison. And you know I just kept hoping and waiting and making applications to get out of there. One day I come into work and I had um, assisted a woman in her death. And there was a beautiful dozen yellow roses. And I said to myself, thank you. I know I'm out of here now. So I made an application to go to a community um, uh, uh, site. And what I had to do was to develop a program and teach the um, what we call personal support workers. I had a week or two to do that and put it together and then go forward and teach it. So that was a lot of fun. Now, it was also um, the community health nurse at Curve Lake. And that involved another different type of skill set that I've never encountered, like doing proposals and things. So that, that was fun, too. And then I went on, and in the second one where I was teaching the program, and then it moved into a community liaison coordinator, bigger name than me. And I worked in that. I was very, you know, it was clicking along and loving it. And then management changed, and no matter what I did, I couldn't convince them that what information I had was privileged information and if I were to share it I would find myself in front of the College of Nurses and that wasn't going to happen so I quit and then I just went on about my way and you know piddled here and piddled there I know we've always had a business um, back in the day my husband had a horrible boss and I said well just start your own business and he hemmed and hawed and then of course it took another man in business to finally get him to move He's a master tech. They don't have any trouble finding work. So we had that business, and then it morphed into, um, well, we sold it and hit the road and traveled the world and come back and picked it all back up again. So then the second one come along, and he had a partner, and him and the partners didn't really jive well together. The partner had a um, passion for housing, and so that was part of the deal was to get this building and maybe have the office and then work from there. So I said to Brian, well, you know, there's a solution to dissolving the partnership. And he was, you know, all upset. And I said, no, no, it's easy. Your partner wants buildings, give it to him. And you take the business. And that's what we did and have been doing it since 1992. So, you know, it, it worked out really well. But all along, you know, I was told by my gym teacher I had leadership. And I certainly was entrepreneur. And that's why I think I didn't get along so well in the institution. I swear they have a manual in there to tell you how to toot. So anyways, um, that I drifted around and then I was doing always doing the books. I always did it even when I had full-time jobs, part-time jobs, whatever. I was doing the bookkeeping. And I still am to this day. And there had to be something more. And then I found a thing called Facebook, you know, when it wasn't that cool. And then I heard my grandkids talk about it. And I thought, well, I'll just check this one out. And I thought, well, this is really, really cool. And I found out about Pinterest. But you can only you know, go so far and go so many places, and you got to have something more. And then I thought, well, you know, 
with all of this happening, there's got to be a way to make money. No, I know. I went into Vaisalus and I became, and it's up my line because I'm into health and fitness. So I went into Vaisalus, but, you know, it, it was too dependent on such other factors that were beyond my control. And I'm still in Vaisalus and I made director, rising star director. I guess my, my biggest, best month I had was twelve to $1,500. That was me, not my legs. So then I found out, um, I saw something and it tweaked me and I thought, why can't I promote Vaisalus? Oh, it was IBO Toolbox. I thought, why can't I promote Vaisalus? And, you know, work work from the internet angle, which isn't really Vice model, but, you know, what works, right? So I, that's how I began and I thought, well, this is possible. And then I started, of course, now I have the eyes that I want to see. I, you know, I want to see these things. So I start looking into things, and Angie Long's always been in Vaisalus that I know of, and I started to see her and her leadership style and what she did and how she did it. And I thought, well, by jumping, it is possible. And then I believed more and more, and I believed more and more. However, I didn't even know anything about the computer. I knew how to turn it on. I knew how to get Facebook. Um, I didn't know anything. And thank God people helped me because without having tabs at the top, you can't get anywhere in Internet marketing. So I learned them. I learned how to squeeze down the screen so you can still have your desktop visible. I didn't know how to do that. I still don't know how to vet, um, edit videos. And that's okay. So then I, I went and started to learn about Internet marketing because I thought it was going to be a whole lot simpler than it was. Wrong. <laughs> anyway, so I started to learn. And I became an incredible um, uh, absorbing m sponge for anything and everything that I can learn from Angie and Jermaine and Julian Tang, Desmond Akia Smith, um, Jim Saab, Mike Williams, Cindy Bloom, anybody, anybody and everybody, even people from not even on my team, like Robbie Manaza and uh, Carrie Hall, like. I just learned from whatever I could and however I could. And of course, I took all those free online marketing skills, that training things, right? And that just confused the heavens out of me. I was worse off than a pickle. I got books to prove it. I mean, it was nuts. So when I finally got to the affiliate beast mode, that's when all the little bits and pieces started to come together. So now that was in early February, and now here I am in mid-May. And back in March, maybe even February, March, April for sure, I found myself ranking the first page of Google for um, videos and content because it's all about content. And so that's where I am now. And now I'm learning how to market it and how to get it to start monetizing for me. And I gave myself permission to learn this. And so far, obviously, I've done very well. And now it's the marketing side of it. And connecting with people and staying real and being in touch, that's never been an issue. What is an issue is how things work, like an autoresponder and setting that up. And I'm still not really clear about how to do that. And then um, I did a VSN co-op, and I got 53 leads. Well, that's wonderful. Now I've got to learn how to deal with that leads. So it's, it's this side of it now that I'm concentrating on and learning. So, you know, I started off on a, on a blogging platform. I didn't even know what a blog was. I didn't even know how to go about it. But the Affiliate Beast Mode taught me, and they taught me very well with the different tools and tricks and tips. And I, that's what I had to do. I had to figure out what was a tool, what was a, a, a tip, what... And then I, I went through my notes and I started putting tool, 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 tool down. And there's a lot of them. There's really a lot of them. And most of them are free. So that's sort of like my journey that's led up to this little disclosure about me. So if you want to get together, you want to hear some more, watch for the more videos because that's one thing that I will definitely be doing because that's what Angie does and I'm following Angie. And I'm not really, I'm not a follower, but I will do what works. I'll do whatever it takes because I intend 
to re retire my husband. He's been looking out to us now for the past 10 years or so, and it's my turn now, and I also want the residual. I want us to be able to take trips that we want, have the grandkids to where we want to go. I want to get out of here in the winter. This is just a major, major goal. And I will do it, and I can do it, courtesy of online marketing. So if you want to get to know more, just check the button down below. Just go ahead. Click the button below, and you'll find it always. And then connect with me on Facebook. All right? So I hope I've helped you learning about me and maybe getting you started on your journey to Internet marketing. Okay? Talk later.